At number two, a thrilling slice of pop genius from a musical visionary. Michael Jackson nailed it on that song. And when you think about a guy who's telling people what to play, out of his head, just tells you what to play. You're the bass player, you just play. We just sat down at a Fender Rhodes electric piano and he sang me the bass line. And then he says, chords go on top of it. Boop, doo. Not only did he compose his music in his head, it was fully formed. The inspiration for Billie Jean's lyrics came from close to home. It's a true story, Billie Jean. What he had told me is that he had this obsessive fan that used to hang around the gate. She was uh, pregnant and she tried to say that he was the one. He never met this girl before, and uh, he just wrote about it. This sinister tale of obsessive love saw the emergence of a new Michael. One who was more grown up, with some killer moves up his sleeve. His manager said, make sure there's a chorus where he can dance, because he's practicing some moves in front of the mirror. Michael was a hard worker. He danced almost practically every day and uh, he would take Sundays and dedicate that whole day just to his craft. All that practice would pay off when a TV performance saw Michael unveil some out-of-this-world dance steps that would send his career into orbit. We know that dance because it was more like a little thing we did around the yard. Little funny walk. We all have been trying to work on it. I never got it down. If you thought he was big, that's when he became even bigger. Suddenly, Michael Jackson was not human anymore.